Right, everybody, got a new mouse to show you today. Wanted one of these for quite a while and only recently got one. It's the Mickey Mouse gas mask, well, the British version of it. Um, well, basically, it's the World War II British um, children's mask for the very young children. Um, and they called it the Mickey Mouse mask to basically make it more fun for children to wear it. So you'll notice that it uses quite bright colours for a gas mask. Um, the straps are sort of a cyan colour. The actual mask itself is um, bright red, and the filter is um, sort of a blue colour. And the uh, um, other bit of the filter which is taped on is green, but that was the same for a lot of the adult masks. Now basically, the reason they made the mask look like this was the logic was, if they made it bright colours, it would be more appealing for children to wear it, so it would be less frightening. Um, and obviously, it works to a slight degree because I mean that doesn't look not very frightening to me I think a lot of the time when they try and make these masks look cute they look even creepier than the um, adult masks but I can understand the logic behind it now interesting there's an American mask called the Mickey Mouse mask which is incredibly rare um, which is literally a Mickey Mouse mask you can google it it's and that's terrifying because what they've done is they essentially made a giant Mickey Mouse um, rubber face uh, that's got like the lenses built into the eyes and everything and it takes the filter underneath and that was designed you know like the same logic that children would prefer to wear something like that but as a result it's just an incredibly creepy mask because it's kind of got this fake rubber animal sort of it looks sort of like something you'd see on Hotline Miami to be honest on one of those sort of masks so um, the American one there's only a few in museums um, this one I think there was some information on it somewhere I saw stamped. GC Mark III, it says on the filter. Not much else to see. Oh, Avon 103916 d printed inside. So... Avon produced this Avon rubber, makers of the S10 and everything. And I'm assuming that is October 1939 this mask was made. 16D, I guess, is something to do with the size. Um, yeah, interesting mask and quite a nice collectible piece. 